Greetings and welcome to another edition of What Ridiculous Nonsense Are People Getting Angry About Today on the Internet? <laughs> Talk TV are obviously incredibly angered by the fact that a Hispanic actress is going to be playing Snow White in the new Disney film. Let's dive into the comments, shall we? This should be fun. Next, they will have a Chinese person playing Hitler. They won't. They won't have a Chinese person playing Hitler. <laughs> that's, that's, it's not going to happen. Remember when Disney was Disney? Yeah, back in the good old days of Disney, you know, when uh, Walt Disney was a known Nazi <laughs> sympathiser, back in those good old days. Yes, I will boycott it and other woke films that rewrite history. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to break this to you, Frank, but Snow White is not an historical character. She's a fictional character. <laughs> she didn't exist. <laughs> I'm sorry if I've just shattered your childhood illusions, but Snow White was not real. Erasing white history and culture because it stands in the way of lefty slavery. Yeah, of course, because, um, you know, when you think of white history and culture, you know, I guess you probably think of, you know, Charles Darwin or... Um, Abel Nelson or uh, Isaac Newton and of course Snow White of, of course <laughs> erasing history they're not erasing history you can still go and see the original film it's, it's out there they haven't erased the old one completely and then put out a new one and then a whole host of these sort of posts like oh maybe uh, white actors should per play Nelson Mandela yeah let's have Leonardo DiCaprio play Nelson Mandela <laughs> slightly situation different situation as i said before these are real people snow white's not real she's not a real person disney are taking jobs from these great actors <laughs> yeah of course <laughs> because there's such a lack of white actresses in hollywood isn't there you know they're just not getting the, their opportunities at all well done disney another film that's banned from my house <laughs> I love the idea that this guy's got like a list of films that are banned from his house that he, he won't let inside his house. Like his daughter comes home from school with her hands behind her back. He's like, what, what, what have you got behind your back? What, what are you doing? What have you got? Oh, nothing, Dad. Nothing, nothing. Uh, it's drugs. It's just drugs. It's just drugs. No, what have you got? Is that Little Mermaid? Is it the original? No, it's the new one. Get out. Get out my house right now. <laughs> Snow White, clue is in the name. Nothing to do with race, just injecting diversity. <laughs> you know what's funny? <laughs> was she actually that white, Snow White? Have you ever watched the animation recently? She, she wasn't even actually that white. And ironically, if you look at the actress they're picking to play her, <laughs> it's a pretty good match. <laughs> oh, this whole thing is complete and utter rubbish. I mean, imagine if you didn't even hear anything about this story before and someone just came up to you and go, oh, we're thinking about uh, recasting um, Snow White. What do you think of this actress? Does she look like Snow White? <laughs> yeah, she looks just like her. She looks just like Snow White. A fictional character from a film that I won't remember in five years' time. I don't care. There's literal poo in the water. Finally, finally, we have some common sense from someone in the comment section. <laughs> yes, there is literal poo in our seas and rivers. Why are we getting angry about this rubbish? Right, I'm going to drive on out of this parking space and we'll carry, carry on with this video. Uh, uh, this is what it comes down to, isn't it? I mean, is this really where our anger should be? Uh, should be I mean, I'm just going to... Are you going to let me out? Nah, of course you're not going to let me out. Are you going to let me out? Nah, of course you're not going to let me out. Are you going to let me out? No, why would you do that? That's going to uh, give up a couple of metres of your road space, isn't it? Um, this is the point. I mean, you're playing into Rupert, Mur Rupert Murdoch, who owns Talk TV. He, by getting angry about this stuff, you're playing exactly right into his hands. This is exactly what he wants you to get angry about, because he doesn't want you getting angry about what he's up to, like meeting up with leaders of our country bloody Keir Starmer this week at his party probably giving out his demands for when uh, Keir Starmer inevitably comes prime minister next year what's his demands on the country something that really royally pisses me off 
I, I re why can't Keir Starmer just grow a pair of balls and go, do you know what, Murdoch? Fuck. <laughs> You've had your time. We've had enough of you. I'm not going to your stupid parties. I'm not listening to what you have to say or what your demands are. I don't care what you write about me in your newspapers. I don't give a shit. I wish you'd grow a pair. This is what it comes down to all the time. You're just playing into Rupert Murdoch's hands, getting angry about the stuff he wants you angry about. Uh, this is how the cycle goes on. This is how we end up with every single election being won by whichever party the Sun newspaper or Rupert Murdoch backs. It's ridiculous. And also, what is wrong with having someone, you know, black and Hispanic girls now finally have someone, a Disney character that looks like them? You know, what, what is actually wrong with that? I mean, granted, I'd much rather, I mean, my biggest problem with Hollywood at the moment is that they just keep remaking stuff and they don't come up with anything original. I'd love to see an original story from them. But what is fundamentally wrong with, like I say, black, young black, Hispanic girls finally having a Dick Disney character that looks like them? There's, there's something that I always remember from a, a good friend of mine who's um, British, British born from, from Indian parents. And she always tells me about Blue Peter, uh, Connie, Connie Hux, I think her name was, Indian Blue Peter presenter. And how much that meant to her as a young girl to have someone on TV that looked like her. It means so much to people. Representation is really, really important. Why are people getting so upset about this? And, you know, like I say, what annoys me the most is just the fact that Hollywood just can't come up with anything original at the moment anyway. That's what drives me mad about Hollywood. I don't care about the diversity and race stuff just come up with something original it's just remakes and oh another comic book film great fantastic that's why bloody their lord of the rings show was so dreadful nothing to do with what race the characters were but it's just shit writing <laughs> and they're too scared to come up with original something original because it might flop they just go oh people like lord of the rings let's do something like that oh people like snow white let's do another one. Oh, people like ghostbusters let's do another one come up with something original that's what pisses me off about hollywood anyway i'm going into a rant now give me your comments down below <laughs> as always take care see you next time